Yeah, last week at Anaheim, obviously didn't have the main event um, that anyone would want. This 20th place got one point, so a little bit of a disaster, especially early on in the season. Um, so really, for me, it's just like now it's, it's go time. Can't make any mistakes. I mean, yeah, there's some pressure for that, but. Uh, if I'm gonna have a bad race, you know, hopefully it was just only the first one. Um, it's not the end of the world yet. You kind of, after that second crash, you could tell you were just like really and a yeah. little embarrassed. Uh, at any point, did you ever think like, man, I could just really pull off right now? I didn't care. Or did you know you had to finish? No, I mean, I guess my mentality when I'm racing is like, you know, I did have that huge second crash and. My bike, you know, it didn't get messed up or anything. So, uh, you know, if, you, if your body's not physically broken or if your bike's still going, you know, I've been kind of taught that you just got to finish no matter what. Um, I think it's more embarrassing to pull off it at 10 laps, you know, and, and not really tell anything, tell anyone what happened. And to, I would, I would rather roll around and last and at least finish, you know. So, um, you know, I've learned that from the past, you know. Where I have pulled off early, and then you can leave the sour spot in your stomach. You're like, man, you should finish. So I've kind of changed my mindset that way. Uh, what did you do this week? Just a lot of laps, out of anger. I mean, no testing, just practice. Yeah, I mean, my bike's in a really good uh, spot. I haven't had to touch much. No testing, just riding. And honestly, I'm pretty happy that I'm 100% because uh, when I pulled off the track at Anaheim or when we were done, I actually had like a pretty sore calf in my middle finger was kind of smashed and I was like well, you know hopefully it doesn't get too bad but you know and it didn't get too bad so I was happy I was just able to do my normal program. Hey, today this is a good track for you uh, kind of like home pretty slick. Yep. How do you feel? You haven't gone out there yet but I expect Yeah I mean Phoenix is normally a good vibe for me. It's pretty close to home Colorado home six hours or so. We uh, have a lot of people here. I won here in 2013. Last year it was like wasn't good because I tried to ride. That's when I had my jacked up shoulder. Um, so yeah, normally this place treats me pretty well. The big thing for you this year is you know last year you missed a lot of rounds of injury. This is like your real first year. Would you? I mean, you would agree to that, right? No, because this year I, I don't feel like a rookie at all. I feel like I belong, you know, in the front and belong battling with the guys. I'm not really intimidated by anyone. Was where last year when you see. A Villapoto or a Stewart on the track, just seeing those guys alone kind of intimidates you. So, I, mean, I don't really have that feeling anymore. I feel like I should be the guy. So, I wouldn't. I don't really feel like a rookie.